Hi, this is Jonathan, and welcome to text tutorial number 12, Drawing Simple Lines with TIKZ. TIKZ stands for TIKZ ist kein Zeichenprogramm, which is German for this is not a drawing program. Ironically, we're using it to draw today. So let's get started with our basic template. Let's do macros, and I forgot to plug in my mouse. Hang on a second. Let's plug that in there. Okay, good. Um, all right, we've got templates, basic. Uh, I made this, delete all that junk. Now we've got our article class. We can get rid of the font. We don't, who cares? Doesn't matter. You can leave it there. Um, package, font spec. We've got to load a new package. We're going to load today T I K Z. Um, we're going to have a new environment. We're going to say begin T I K Z picture. And we're going to do that again T I K Z picture. And in here, we can draw lines. And everything we're going to do is going to be on, a, on a, a Cartesian plane. So we're going to draw a grid. The first thing I want to do is we're going to say draw. And we're going to draw from 0, 0. We have to define our points. Grid to, let's just say, 8, 8. And you have to put a semicolon at the end of any command in this environment, just so you know. I'm going to review that 100 times. We hit typeset. We'll see, we get a nice grid. There we go, voila. So each box is about, well, I think it's one centimeter. No, I know it's one centimeter. And we're gonna draw a line now. We're gonna say draw from zero, zero to uh, one, zero. And remember the semicolon, don't forget that. Now the interesting thing is, we're not gonna see it. Well, I guess we do see it a little, but you can't really tell it's there because the grid is black. So we're gonna give a parameter to the grid. Parameters are in these um, brackets. We're gonna say help lines and that'll make the lines of the grid gray so we can see our line better. And let's make our line red and we'll make it thick. We could also make it thin. We could also make it very thick. We could also say line uh, width equals 10 points if we want to be more specific. Uh, but I'm just going to make it, if you if you let, if you you list a whole bunch of these, um, it takes the last one. So if I say thin and then very thick, it'll take very thick. But I'm just going to go with thick. And I'm going to draw just right away. I'm going to show you that draw command is the same as doing path with draws parameter. And we'll say from uh, 2, let's see, 0, 2, Two, two, two. Just so you can see that that path and draw command is the same. Draw is a shortcut actually for typing backslash path with the parameter draw. If I were to leave out draw, it would just make the path, but it wouldn't actually draw anything. So here we've got that and we've got the red line. What if I want to make both lines red? Well, instead of typing red in every single one and thick in every single one, I can just cut this out and put that up here at the TIKC picture environment. And then I've got a nice, um, it'll apply to everything except for the grid because the grid has the help lines parameter which overrides anything up here. Um, and I can override the red for a particular line down here if I say green and then it'll make this line green. Hopefully I'm not going too fast, I'm just, I want to cover a lot here. Okay, so we've got that. Um, that's one way to draw a line. Uh, another way to draw a line is to say draw from, let's do 0, 3, and we'll say 2, 3, 3. So this 2 command gives us a little bit more control because we can actually put a parameter in here. Um, we can bend it. Um, we can say bend left, and we can put 20 in there. And what that says is... Um, Bend, if you're standing at this point and looking at this point, it would be to your left. So it's actually, if we're over here going in this direction and we say left, it means the line's going to bend up a little bit instead of down. If I say bend right, it'll go down. We can just test that. We'll see from three, three. We've got a line that bends down, just like that. Another way to do that, if you want more precise controls, you can say out and you can give a specific degree. So this would be zero degrees, this would be 90, this would be 180, this would be 270 degrees. And let's just make it uh, 270. So it'll come out from the bottom and then it'll go in to 90 on the second point. So it'll actually come around, it'll make an S. Uh, let's see if that works. So, yep, 
there we go. So that's how you can bend lines. Um, another thing you can do is you can use controls, but I'm not going to get into that in this video, um, where you just do controls and you can give two control points. So I can say one pass through one, one, um, well, I don't want to do that in this video. Okay. Um, okay. And the other thing you can do is I want to draw, um, a square. Let's get rid of this it's too confusing for right now. Let's draw a simple square. So we got zero to one, then we go up to one, one. Let me go back down. Is that right? No, wait, we go up. Now we go up one and now we go back to zero one and then back to zero zero. Now, instead of typing back to zero zero, I can also do this. I can say cycle and it will connect wherever the last point, this last point was, it'll connect it to the first point. So cycle or zero zero in that case will draw you square. And these are absolute points. So I just want to make a big deal about that. If I just make this two, two, just for fun, let's make it a bigger square. All right, we've got a square here. We're going to do the same thing now using relative points. And I'll show you what that means and why we care. So draw, we're going to do zero, zero, and I'm going to draw a line. And now I'm going to use relative points command, which is plus plus. And then I'm going to say, just go up go over one. Now go up one, which means like that. Then go to the right one, which would be negative. Yeah, negative one zero. And cycle. And that should draw There's our square. And why do we care about relative points instead of absolute points? Well, if I change this to like four, four, then these we don't have to change, it'll still draw a one by one square at that origin. See, just like that. So it, it might be beneficial to use relative points for some paths, not all the time, but sometimes. Um, and then the other kind is if you get rid of this um, plus what that does is it says four, four is now your origin. So I'm going to one over one from four, four. Now I'm going up one from four, four. So we actually have to switch this to a one because otherwise, um, well, let's just see what happens. You'll see it will be messed up. See that's not what we wanted. So you have to go over uh, to one, one, and there's no negative in here. It'll just be um, zero, one, and cycle, and that should be a square as well. There you go. So it just treats four, four as the origin if you use one plus. And this one, uh, if you use two pluses, then it uses the previous coordinate as the origin. Um, so instead of cycle here, I would actually, I wouldn't type four, four, I would type zero, zero, um, and it would draw the square the same. Okay. Um, another thing you can do is if I have like these two lines and let's just say I draw another line five, five, two, let's, now let's do, I'm sorry, zero, five, and then we'll go to three. three, and then we'll go to four, six. And let's say we want to make these two lines green, instead of being red, we can put that in a scope environment. We can just give parameters there and just say green, put that underneath, make sure you end it. And then this line will be red and these two will be green. Okay, so that's the line we drew. Um, four, six, let's add another point, and then I'll show you how to you can I can bend these. Um, let's just say to eight, 
eight two. Um, let's just say, let's zoom in here. Okay, let's say that we're drawing this, and I want to bend this corner and bend this corner. Um, you can do this thing called add a parameter rounded corners, and it'll bend those corners for you. Bing, boom, done. Okay, now if I want to like do it for, if I have a long line with a list of points and I want to do it just between, like round a couple corners, just between these two, um, then you can put that in this, uh, the, the brackets for the scope environment, post that, paste that in there, make sure that this comes after these two dashes, that comes after that. Um, you can't have the dashes out here, it won't, it'll fail typeset that and that'll just um, round whatever's in that scope like if you want some corners to be round and some not to be um, you can do that too it's the same thing as if you like type in some text like large and I say that and if I leave it like that my whole document will be large because there's no scope on large it's basically everything so I'd have to put that within the um, brackets so that's what we did um, yeah, and that's the end of the video for drawing lines with TIKZ. I think I covered basically how you do it. And um, in the next tutorial, I'll look at nodes and how we can also draw lines using nodes, um, which is pretty cool because nodes allow you to add text to your drawings. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you learned something, please like the video and feel free to ask comments. And um, yeah, I'll see you on the next video. Bye.